Hello and welcome to the North American Guitar in beautiful Woodstock, New York uh, with one of my very, very, very close friends, <laughs> Mr. Chris Jenkins from Lame Horse Guitars. Uh, Chris is just about to deliver to us this beautiful LH14, uh, one we've been waiting for for quite a while. Chris, how's the show been? And tell us about the guitar. show here at Woodstock is wonderful. Um, we've had tremendous interest and uh, this LH14 we're particularly proud of. Uh, I think Ben this is the best sick top we've ever found been able to use on a guitar. The silking is just incredible yeah. side to side absolutely no run out in this top at all. Uh, magnificent sound. has a burled walnut rosette inlaid with the uh, a lot of detail. The side brace is inside as well as the accent pan uh, access panel are inlaid to match the rosette. We're calling her Lillian. <laughs> she has a seven piece uh, wow. laminated mahogany, Honduran mahogany neck, maple accents, curly maple bindings. It's uh, a beauty. Curly maple accent panel and super straight grained uh, mahogany back and sides and the silking even in the mahogany uh, it's so straight so it's a beauty we, and you've, you've had you've had an amazing show already I mean, you sold half of your table haven't you yes we, we saw a pal and you had and you had who was demo who was demoing for the viewers who was demoing your, your well we had john sebastian <laughs> demo which was just like a dream for me I, somewhere in the city on a good show is pretty i was special. just a huge my whole <laughs> life i've been a huge loving spoonful fan and uh, yeah, we had a Get Joe, and we built the Get Joe for John Sebastian about a year ago, and uh, he walked up to me at the beginning of the show, and he had a, another custom six-string banjo by a large manufacturer who will remain nameless, <laughs> and he told me he sent that to a guitar shop in New York to be sold. Wow. That he's just keeping the Get Joe. That's the only thing he's going to play from now on it as was, far as banjos. It was an amazing thing when he played uh, Somewhere in the City uh, yeah, on the Get Joe. No. And he said, I don't know how this is going to sound, but uh, let's give it a go. Um, well, Chris, it's, it's just such an honor to represent Lame Horse Guitars. This is, I think, the sixth or seventh LH14 we brought into the brought into the shop, um, and uh, yeah, only the second uh, mahogany back and size. I think the others have um, been maple and copabolo. So it's a really warm. I've had a little play of it just before we started doing the interview, and it's an absolutely beautiful guitar. Very snappy. Um, got a lot of warmth from that mahogany. Um, so, what's your plans for the rest of the show when you're heading back home? We're heading back to Texas tomorrow. Uh, drive down to LaGuardia uh, cat late tomorrow and uh, fly back and then we've got to get back in the workshop to finish the Elko we're building for you for to Nam. deliver at NAM, yeah. which will be one of our dome series built out of Ziracote with nice turquoise appointments. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get some pictures of that and we can uh, get a little build thread going on. Yeah, for, uh, for that'd be for great. Cool. It's a uh, it's quite going to be quite a special guitar. It's always great to see you, Chris. Thank, Thank you, you so ben. much. Thank you so much. For more information on the finest hand-built luthier instruments, then please do subscribe to this channel. And for more information on Lame Horse Guitars and this beautiful LH14, then don't hesitate to get in touch.